What's going on everybody, LK here, back at it again with another video, and today some more Dragon Ball. So, we're into Season 3 a little bit at this point, I hope you guys are having fun, I've uh, been enjoying the new patch a lot. Um, I wanted to start talking about team building in Season 3 a little bit, so I know like, maybe like a week ago or something, I made a video about how I kind of felt like this is more like a Season 2.5 instead of Season 3 outright, because of how they made some changes. Um, and I kind of want to talk about that for team building. So, for the most part, we kind of get like how to build a team, right? Like you pick your point. Uh, flexible. Uh, sometimes it could be like a meter hungry character. Your point gets the meter. You know they don't need they don't need a lot of meter, but they're good at building meter. Uh, you know they have mix ups, whatever. And the anchor character, either you're picking an anchor that supports your team or uh, is really good at not getting hit or is really good at hitting other characters. Okay. Uh, the thing that this patch adds though is the multiple assists. So I just kind of want to like start putting some thoughts into like what happens in each slot. So. The first thing about multiple assists is um, the C assist is what I want to talk about first. So every character has A, B, and C assist, right? Um, a assist is the old assist from the first two patches. B assist is a uh, just like a new assist, and then C assist is like a special one that uh, has more cooldown, but might have some type of special effect, and like it affects combos and stuff like that. Now, generally, I think one of the first rules I could really put down for Season 3 is that whoever your C assist is should probably be your anchor character. Why? Because uh, usually you pick your C assist to for like combos or support. So right now, my opinion is like, so characters like Android 16, I believe Android 21 has one, um, Trunks has one, I think SSJ Goku has one. Um, any character that has a C assist that has uh, that has like 50 frames block stun, I think it's a pretty viable choice for a C assist. So overall, I'm not personally really feeling C assists. Uh, I think they're just mostly like just combo tools, and it is nice that uh, I believe that the combo timer just doesn't affect it. Like it's a guaranteed hit stun no matter what. That's a nice thing, but uh, the extended cooldown is a pretty big deal. So the ones that have 50 frame blocks on, I think it they're pretty viable because you get the, the you get special combos or whatever. They usually um, so they're not like fast assists, but they track to where the opponents are, and they have 50 frames blocks on. So if you have one of these characters, like we have 21 or you have Trunks or 16 or whoever has it, then it's kind of like a replacement for like a Kid Buu arm ball or like a, the Go Tanks A, like anything like that. Uh, you don't you wouldn't necessarily need to have these characters if you had a C assist with 50 frames box on But I don't feel like uh, that would work in any other s slot if you're trying to build a solid game plan right now That's number one um, Number two so far is that um, I think right now I can kind of call back an old vid I made about uh, how to build a meta team about playing meta characters So we don't really know like what's the best thing right now like people everyone's experimenting with their own flavor some people are going back to characters that like they liked playing but they felt like they couldn't so like in my case it's usually trunks right so what i've noticed is that uh and the, i kind of feel this way about the team i built uh i'm basically just trying to play a season two team minus snap i guess uh the same rules about building teams generally apply right like you have your point you pick your strong points like let's say you want to play like even if it doesn't have to be Kipu, like let's let's pick someone less common, right? So let's say Andrew 17. Most people think he's a pretty good point or assist, right? And then from there you can go through the various builds that have been shown to work in the game, right? So what were what worked season one? Season one you had like DP, DP and block string, right? So yeah, you can play Gohan and, or Team Gohan if you want. And it's fine, but now you have a lot more options for block stun assist. You have you have base Goku uh, already at Bardock B if you felt like it. You have many C assists. Um, you have like Kefla B now. Like you have a lot of options to use for that DP plus block stun assist now, right? Uh, another another example would be like DP Beam, right? So DP Beam, Gohan, Cooler, the other Gohan, right? You have those options, of course. But then for your Beam, now you have like 
Super Broly has one on his C assist, uh, and um, who else is new who got one? Trunks has one now, uh, Yamcha has one now, um, Krillin, wherever he is, <laughs> there he is, Krillin has one now. So you're not locked to just like SSJ Goku, Goku Black, and then the beams. I mean, you can still use the other beams here, so like DP Beam, Z Broly, DP Beam, Zamasu, like you still have those traditional ones, but then you have even more options for that. Um, another one would be like, uh, let's do, let's do, let's see, let's do Lariat plus Blast Assist, right? So Lariat, as we know, there's a million Lariat assists in this game at this point, especially with the new patch. So like, you know, base Vegeta B would be an example of a new one, Blue Goku B. So let's do that. Of course, you got like Frieza, you got Trunks. I don't, I don't actually think there's that many more Blast Assists. I think we're still kind of locked to the same couple. But there are definitely way more Larry assist if you want. So like, this is what a, a point I was just making before, where like, uh, I think despite there being more assists, uh, people will still be doing the same thing long term in the game. It's just that you have more options to do it. It's kind of a good way of going about it, uh, all things considered. Now, the next part will be: is it? Like, how effective is the thing you're going to do? Because you still need to make sure that, like, despite, you know, you being able to do common builds that have existed in the game basically since the game came out, uh, you also have to make sure that characters actually function well together. And that's like just going in training mode, you know? Um, these things are pretty important because sometimes, like, there are cases where characters, like, the things will work together, like, the way the assists work together, they should work in a certain way i'm saying that kind of weird uh but individual character tools might not line up properly for things to work out so for example let's do like uh let's do again like point uh lariat blast okay so let's say you're playing d3 right so blue goku has a uh, lariat now you have death slash with frieza now one thing about lariat assist is that it is kind of hard to convert dragon rush with them uh, or extend, not convert, extend Dragon Rushers with them, it's kind of hard to extend uh, two H's with them, depending on how your character uh, can bring the opponent back to the ground. So one thing that I really like about Trunks right now uh, is that one problem he, one really big problem he had the last patch is that he was not good at converting two H's into high damage mid-screen, uh, especially when you consider his best partners, so like Kid Buu and Bardock are usually like his best partners um, in the old patch. He really didn't do a lot of damage off anti-airs, as, as opposed to like, SSJ, SSJ Goku does mad damage, or if you had a beam on your team, you just get mad damage off anti-air, or like Kid Buu got like extensions trivially off 2H, so like, that actually kind of hurts. So if you're playing like Trunks and Bardock, it's pretty difficult for Trunks to use Bardock to extend his anti-air combos, as opposed to Bardock using Trunks to extend his anti-air combos, if that makes sense. So, you're kind of going to have to flesh, uh, little issues like that out on your own and i think that like little things like that like how easily can i convert my combos to do i have like good mix-ups like how does my anchor function uh properly like does my anchor prevent me from getting hit or can i hit the opponent very easily uh does my mid both support my point and anchor and has the ability to like fix my game plan in case my points game plan doesn't work there's a lot of little things that you have to figure out despite uh, the like blocks you use of assists working easier okay hopefully that makes sense uh, leave any questions in the comments I'm still kind of working this out too uh, like I said in my head I feel like with assists it's easy to like place the building blocks for how to build a team but uh, the challenge would be what is the actual best character combination for uh, this year um, let me know what you think like I said like and subscribe if you feel like it and I'll see you next time. Peace out.